No, no, don't like it. Go, Jake. Frog it, brother. All right. Above land or above water, it actually looks worse. So yesterday while diving, me, Jake, and Tristan, we actually found some really sketchy objects. And today we're gonna try to extract those. <laughs> we did run into weird white objects. I actually found one and then I heard one of the boys trying to call us over, so I left it. I went over to Jake and he actually found one as well. While we were down there, it seemed like some type of duct taped wrapped up item. Jake had the idea to start cutting it and seeing what was inside. Once we started filleting up the duct tape, yeah. there were weird cloth. It was, it was weird. It's like bed sheets of some sort. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, man, I don't know. This is some kind of mess. But yeah. then when it got to the bottom, Jake actually cut off a wheel. Yeah. And at that point, I knew it was a suitcase. And that's where things got a little bit weird. The thing is, it's a suitcase. Yeah. Well, I didn't think it was a suitcase till I saw the wheels. Yeah, when I saw the wheel, I, I was like, I was like, oh, this ain't right. Now something's, something's got to be in it. Yeah. I mean, it's wrapped up that hard with two big rocks in it. Yeah. But pretty much as fast as we found it, we got swept away because the dam turned on, creating a strong current in the river and the water rose to high flow, pushing us out of the area. So now we're here with Brandon and his boat going back up to that spot to figure out once and for all what is inside these mysterious suitcases. While Brandon and Jake were cutting open the packages, we could tell that there was a rock holding down the package and a suitcase. It was thrown off a bridge, so there's no telling what that might be. We're hoping it's nothing bad, but we're gonna do our best to extract those objects off the bottom of the river. The whole thing is super weird. There was duct tape around it. It was like four rolls, a lot of duct tape. And then there were sheets inside of that. And then it was the suitcase. And inside of that, all we saw were the rocks. So it's a weird concoction, but we also noticed there was like some type of rope around it, like it was lowered off of the bridge. So there were two of them. One that is compromised because it's cut open. Um, nothing came out. And there is another one that I found that I left to go meet the boys and that one has been untouched. This is kind of one of those things where your mind gets to wondering a little bit. You don't want to let it go too far because it's just so sketchy. I mean, the odds of just rocks being in a suitcase, wrapped in bed sheets, wrapped in duct tape, lowered from a bridge is pretty this. low. They took a lot of time and effort to make sure that no one ever found these. It's very weird, but ultimately it's very strange. We're not really sure what we're getting into, uh, but we wanted to pick up the cameras like we always do and share the story with you guys. Finally, made it down to the boat ramp. We got the truck, we got the boat. The boat is now finally loaded up. Me and Tristan, we've got all our gear. Tristan and I are actually gonna be sharing one scuba tank. As you guys know, this mission is gonna be pretty quick because we're not searching the whole river. But uh, it's kind of nice. We got the Jiggy Jet in Columbus. The first time we're getting to use it out here on the river. So T, it's your first time seeing the boat. What do you think? She's absolutely amazing. And I know the jet prop motor is gonna do great in the skinny sections of the river. At low water, this thing is gonna perform so well. It honestly feels really good to have this thing in Georgia. And I'm excited to take the boys out. It's only an 18 foot boat and we're gonna be loading it down three of us, camera guy, and all of our scuba equipment and stuff. So right here, we actually have a live sonar. That's the actual sonar right there on the trolling motor. I will actually be able to see Jake and Tristan diving through the water and grabbing the bags in real time on this. And then for the second bag, I'm gonna go in and they'll be able to show you me on that as well. And like Tristan talked about before, we have the jet drive jet powered motor on this boat. So in the shallow water, we're not gonna lose a prop or hit any rocks because there's nothing under the boat. It's just a clean slate. So it's kind of the perfect river boat. It's your first time seeing the jigging jet. What do you think? Looks pretty similar. To what? To my boat. Do you got a boat? I do. Have you exposed it on YouTube yet? I filmed the first video. No! I don't know if that video will be up before Damn! this video. Oh! But it looks like this. Hey! <laughs> well, your boat, pretty amazing, man. I'm so proud of you. Like, we have come such a long way. I mean, I remember Tristan got his jet ski here. Yeah. You got your boat here. Yeah. Like, what in the world? It's crazy, man. We'll go ahead and get on the boat. Let's rip over there. Um, we'll have two divers in the water. Let you guys go first. And uh, this could be interesting. All right. Guys, I only got one other hand. I only got one hand. Put it there. Put it there. All right, you ready? Yeah. What are we saying? Uh, team Scuba Dudes. <laughs> team Scuba Dudes on three. One, two, three, Team <laughs> Scuba <laughs> Dudes. All right, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't like hey. that name either. On a real note, we need a good team name. So in the comments, write your favorite team name of what you think we should be called. 
Not Scuba Dudes. Scuba Dudes is awesome. No, Scuba Dudes is eliminated. Um, if you comment Scuba Dudes, you will uh, automatically be revoked from the comment section. Jake right. loves Scuba Dudes. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. If you like the name Scuba Dudes, let us know. All right, we're gonna load up in the boat. Let's go down to the bridge. That's what the jet boat's all about. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's the only reason you get a jet boat. That right there. Yeah, baby. That's, that's your app? No, it's way shallower right there. I can see it. Shallow, bro. I know. We're testing her now. It is shallow, dog. But hey, we're doing it, boys. We're in a foot and a half of water right now. Jet boat, straight jetting. That's awesome, dude. We made it past the shallow hump right there. It makes me so happy seeing you just rip around, man. Hey, drama! <laughs> That's the bottom, there's the pillar. We have current is ripping a little harder than expected, so it's gonna be harder for the boys that are in the water to locate and actually stay with the bag. So we're doing some rethinking on our plans, but we do have a bag on this side. Then we have the further pillar. There's a bag somewhere near that. So it's gonna be kind of all over the place. Boat work, diver work is gonna have to be perfect to make this happen. We've got a lot of rope to secure the suitcases underwater. Jake is rigging up the life jacket as a buoy to float. So as soon as they get it secured, they let the buoy go. They give me the thumbs up. I'll drive over, start to rope it up, and then we'll do the onboarding process. <sighs> My nerves are shot, dude. I'm like, it's such a sketchy situation, and the paddleboarders are just slapping paddles. Sounds like freaking gunshots. Crazy. And then when you turn the trolling motor, it actually turns the sonar as well. So right in front of us, that round area, that's actually that round pipe right there. So it shoots off about 50 foot this way and I'll be able to see them working in this area. <laughs> I'm honestly worried about this current. It's This strong. is worse than yesterday. Oh yeah, no, it's a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. I think we can do really well. All right, so there's two packages underwater. Tristan and I are gonna go after the first one that I found and have pre-cut up open underwater. We're gonna pull that onto the boat and then Brandon's gonna get back underwater and grab the second one. And then we're gonna open all this up on dry land officially here soon. That's but the plan. That's that's <laughs> the plan, of course. If everything works out perfectly, that'll ha that'll that's how it'll go. Yeah. But knowing us, it's always a learning curve. So <laughs> there's never we never know what's gonna happen, but first thing we gotta do is get under there, locate it. Yep. Hopefully we'll be able to find it. Everybody gloved up, no fingerprints? Yeah. Good? Yeah. All right. I need oh. gloves. I need gloves. <laughs> <laughs> If there's any fingerprints on it, it's all tea. It's all Tristan. I yeah. go to jail because of this? Yep, yeah. exactly. <laughs> all right. All right, boys, good luck. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. This is bad, bro. This current horrible. All right, so the boys are actually right here. You can see his arms, him breast stroking. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That is crazy, right behind us. On the rope that they lowered it down on. Oh, really? Yeah. So you got one. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> Do what? Is that the one you guys found? That we cut open. That's the one that's cut. Hey, Man. when you were swimming in, I could see you breast stroking, dude. <laughs> that was a mission. Yeah. That, <laughs> that was current rough. was strong. The current's very, very strong. Good? Yes. All right, now we're just gonna start going up it. So we don't swallow it with the motor, but you'll have to kind of let me know when to stop. T Tristan's probably freaked out right now here in a <laughs> boat. Good thing there's no propeller. Ready? Let's go. It's coming up. It's so heavy. It's so heavy, dude. Ow! Let's get it on the cleat. Yes, I was thinking. 
You gotta slide it a little bit. You have to grab more back. Remember when the lift bags were the idea and you're like, nah. Yeah, that wasn't good. Look, look at this guy. Let's, let's go, bro. I have it cleated right here, but Tristan, it's so heavy. Yeah, I know. Just open, pick it up from above. All right, just make sure you don't step on that. That's keeping us in place. Just watch it, man. No, no, don't let it go, Jake. Yeah. Help us clean it. Help us clean it. I got it, I got it. Under, yeah. under, under, under. That should be good. Watch my fingers. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's not going anywhere. Now, let's try to get it from there. We got something down there, yeah. <laughs> oh She's an anchor. It's, it's an anchor. I can't go anywhere. Really? So I'm saying, yeah. It just went over something. Yeah, see, it's it's getting caught. Yeah, oh. oh, boys. All right, somebody might have to hop in now. Jake, just go ahead and hop in. It's shallow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, scoot up a little bit more. I'm about to pull down. Golly, that is ridiculous looking. Bro. We got her, bro. She's heavy, girl. Dude, when y'all were pulling it up from the bottom, <clears throat> the straps held on so good that I was just like, all right, I can come up. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I looked. It's a pretty industrial strap. Jake, what do you think? Kind of pull it up a little bit if you can. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. <sighs> yeah, look at that strap, dude. Look at that. That is weird, yeah. man. It's so heavy, though. <laughs> it's really weird. Well, I think... Uh, I thought the trolling motor would be able to just rip us up, but not the case. It is, uh, the water's moving pretty, pretty quick. So I think we're all about to, should we put it in the boat or should we just put it on land real quick? I mean, let's just drag it over and cut it open, figure out what's going on. Cause we still would have to lift it all the way up and over. It's a lot. That's crazy, man. That's wild. And there's another one. So if there's nothing in this one, did we check the other we one? We gotta check the other one. I mean, uh, it's yeah, you can't just do one, but I thought we could grab both of them and then check them both, but it was so much work. I say we just cut this one, figure out what's going on. And if it is something really bad, we know we can call, leave the scene how it is, etc. So Dude, that does not even look that does not even look like a suitcase anymore, buddy. No, it doesn't. It looks weird. But it's like a white duct tape, if you guys can see what that is. All white duct tape, bed sheets in it, and then there's rocks. It's weird. Very weird, but I'll tell you what, it was a good anchor. It was holding us down, dude. I didn't think we were getting over back to the pillar. It was bad. Frog it, brother. All right. Getting a little deeper. Oh, it's thinking. All right. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, what's right here? Just, ow, sharp rock. Yeah, that's what I'm really sharp rock. Ready, one, two, three, lift. All right, tree, there's a tree. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a tree. I'm one, two, anymore. three, lift. Yep. Let's go. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. All right, ready? One, two, three, lift. This is pretty sketchy, man. I will say, above land or above water, it actually looks worse. Yeah. And the thing that freaks me out so much is, Jake, will you try to push that up for me? Yeah. The thing that freaks me out so much is, you actually have suitcase wheels so these are suitcase wheels right here and then all this is duct tape that we cut all this is bed sheets here's part of the suitcase and inside there's rocks so right now we're going to go ahead and start carefully cutting it open seeing whatever we need to see and determine at that point what we're going to do you know right now it's just a suitcase full of rocks and there's another one we're going to determine if we need to pull that one out because it's a lot of work and these things are very, very heavy. Someone wanted to put this down at the bottom of the river. Maybe they were just doing something for fun, putting some rocks in there to mess with us. I'm not too sure, but it does look really, really scary. And it uh, looks like some bad stuff could be inside. Do you got something quick for me? Like you said before, man, it, it looks way worse once it's on dry land. Like underwater, it just looked like a weird package, but now it's starting to shift a little bit. Yeah. So. 
I mean, I'll start working on this area. You want to start working on that area? I don't have a knife. Please. I got one on my arm. No. Oh, commentate, T. Yeah, I'm good. Definitely. You good? There's something. Look, look, look. There's a yellow strap. strap right here. So now I'm in. Okay, that's still a suitcase. I thought it was trash bag something. We got the duct tape getting cut off. The sheet is, is there now. So there's duct tape and then a sheet and then more duct tape actually. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's zipper. <laughs> I can't help that. I am sorry. Do you guys want to flip this rock out? Cut into this stuff. We're ready to flip this when you are. What is that? A little worm? You got it? You ready? Ow, ow, my finger. What's that? It's part of the secret. That's like the bottom half of it. And you have this super big rock. It's kind of weird. What the heck? What is going on? Just rocks? Yeah. Alright, let's get like it. What? Maybe the, I mean, there's nothing. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe pockets or something. Like check uh, any outside pockets or anything. No! The worm was on my lip. Uh, well, so far it's just rocks. There, ah, Jake. <laughs> there was a, a few worms and stuff in there, but as we can tell, I mean, there's yeah. Yeah, nothing. Dude, it's a, it is a straight suitcase. That's what's, that's weird, man. Look at, Look at this. Look at that. That's the suitcase wheels. Oh, a bed sheet. With the suitcase that was ducted. Is there any pockets? That's what I was thinking. I'm not seeing anything really. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, well that's best case scenario, I guess, right? But what would that even be for? I feel I like it's know. just. I mean, dude, kids could just be being dumb. And I don't. A kid's not lifting that up over the bridge, my boy. Yeah, that's heavy. Teenagers. <laughs> that's, heavy. Know, that's heavy. That's heavy. It's like very heavy. pounds. Yeah, that's really weird. That's. <laughs> So strange. There's another package that Brandon found. I'm you guessing. You think we get the next one? I don't think so. The current strong. It's ripping right now. It's high flow right now. Fairly dangerous, but at least we know that thing's not going anywhere. But I'll tell you this: I'll follow you anywhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Whatever you boys want to do. You want to go get the second one? I feel like we. I mean, if we can find it, we should definitely see because. I feel like we Maybe have this to. could be a deterrent, you know. The other one could have something in it, but yeah. it's just so weird. They went through all that effort. The current has risen once again. Yeah. We actually had a nice little lunch break. We got Subway delivered to us under the bridge. Thanks to Jake's girl. Thanks She's for so making nice. that happen. No, that's not me. That's all her. They gotta. Thanks for making that happen. Air bump. Air bump me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we had Subway. We relaxed. We you came know, up with a plan. I figured something out. What's that? We could be anywhere and then Kendall will come out of the woods with some food for us. That's honestly... It's nice. It, it's happened so far on this trip every time. Every time we get out of the water, I'm like, food? Uh, oh, yeah, food? Cookies. <laughs> Last time we had Chick-fil-A, this time we had Subway, and we had cookies. It was 10 out of 10, would recommend. <laughs> but uh, water has risen even more, so the current's even harder. So the odds to... What? Don't stand on stuff like you're way more tall than <laughs> me, so bro. Short. You know I already got a little short man complex. Get up over here in the hill. A little taller. I'm just going to hit. <laughs> uh, so we're not going to go get the other bag but we are going to come back when it gets shallow when the water drops if you guys want to see that so let us know if you guys think it's more rocks then just say hey we don't really care probably think it's more rocks again but if you guys want to see us go jake believes it could be a decoy this know. one's a decoy and the other one is the yeah, you never know. the bad one but what do you think tristan it wasn't what it turned out to be, but it was super, super sketchy, and... Keep turning. Is that... What's in your pocket? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> who, who put this in there? <laughs> what are you, robbing it? <laughs> there you go. Thankfully, it wasn't anything bad, but 
the fact that that was in the river is just really weird. Yeah, it's. I think we all, all right. have admitted that. Super, funny. super strange. I pranked you guys. That was the worst prank of all. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> that one, I'd be like, Jake, I dude, be like, I did it. You, you didn't prank us. You wasted our time. <laughs> but if you guys want to see it, the next one, drop a like. I'm not making a like goal, but if we hit 30,000, that would kind of be cool. You know what that would be, kind of be kind of cool. Potentially go and search for more. It would be kind of cool. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Love you all. Pulled out that mystery bag. Turns out there's nothing inside of it other than rocks. So we're just out here enjoying the day. I've got this ski that we're giving away to a subscriber. And we're just enjoying this beautiful river day, having a lot of fun out here. Like this is a true little river day. Dude, <laughs> look, it's like it's like I love when we start doing this because like we all just turn into little kids again. We're just like <laughs> playing with shell. Like this is what we need to do every day. This is no, awesome. honestly, this is good for your soul. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? This no, is just really this is what you need. You need freaking water. You need a little bit of healthy food. You need a good old River Day with your boys. It's <laughs> River here. Day. Boy, you gotta fix that haircut, my boy. What's wrong with it? I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Oh my god, <laughs> brother. That looks terrible. <laughs> Both of you guys. Hold on, let me oh, do my. Get my hair loose. Let me do my haircut thing. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. How are you? Oh, no, no. Oh, That's crazy, right? Just like it. That's crazy, boy.